Hi everyone, what we're going to do today is go through and unlock the bootloader for the HTC Incredible S. Um, I'm basically, I'm going to follow uh, these, this instruction here um, from XDA member Lint. So um, the first thing to do is actually just download and prepare everything. So the first thing um, to do obviously is go and get yourself an account on this website htcdev.com uh, it's pretty simple it's free register and then uh, once you've done that you can log in the other one one I've, da I'm, I've downloaded is the uh, cyanogen mod uh, it's always a popular one so um, go ahead the incredible S or the Vivo here S touchscreen um, go to uh, stable mod I mean, you know, you don't have to, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to go and download that stable mod one. Save it. And um, so you can see I've downloaded it there. I won't download it again. Um, the uh, Google Apps, um, Gingerbread, I got that. And this is um, Google Apps, um, Google Talk pack. Alright, so so the go ahead and download those first, and then um, just following straight off these instructions, um, what we will need is also uh, a part of the Android SDK. I've actually got the full SDK, um, but otherwise, all you do, all you need is click on this link. He's been uh, kind enough to provide us with just the basic tools that we need to uh, finish this um, unlock. So I've done that. And um, the instructions here says, obviously, just to put it where somewhere easy to remember, because we're going to do a bit of typing. So we'll go and I've put it under C Android, which is kind of what the. Um... Okay, so they're all the uh, they're the two ROMs, Core Draw, Core Droid, and the Cyanogen Mod ROM. Uh, the HTC Dev Tools is in there. This image is the um, recovery image so uh, where is it in here so if you, it says here number four click this thread to download the recovery image for the incredible s so if you click this um, it will actually take you to this thread here scroll down and look for the incredible s vivo which is that one so i went ahead now i download that that which is that image there. Um, this is just the original um, Optus uh, ROM here for Australia. So I've just got that as a backup in case I want to revert back. So th that's it for the preparation. Just go ahead and do all that. Um, it'll take quite a while to download, download the uh, Core Droid ROM. And uh, once that's all done, we'll, uh, we'll get going. Okay, so welcome back. Um, let's start going through the process. So I've logged in. Um, I'm just going to go unlock a bootloader and get started. Okay, so in here, from what I read in the uh, 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 in the forums, as long as you pick one, it doesn't really matter which one out of these. Um, it'll work so um, I've got the Australian version so I'm just going to click that one as it seems to be the most generic so and then you go begin unlock so this is the warnings you know are you sure you're you are about to start the process of unlocking your device um, unlocking your device allows you to install and it will obviously void um, your phone and warranties so I'm just gonna go yes okay so before we go ahead you've got to acknowledge um, that okay so it pops up with these instructions which is pretty simple um, remove and insert the battery um, and then what we want to do is press the volume down and 
power to start the device in the bootloader mode. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, step two, it says press down the volume and power to start the device into bootloader mode. And then three is use the volume buttons to select up or down, highlight fast. Step four, connect the device to the computer via USB cable. Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, before you go ahead, make sure you have um, the USB drivers installed at the very least, otherwise just install H the HTC Sync program. All right, so all right, what I'm going to do is um, I'll remove and insert battery. The um, the reason for that is that um, it needs to you can't have the fast boot um, operating, otherwise it won't boot properly because it skips a lot of it. So it tells you to remove the battery, but you can actually turn that off. So instead of because the, um, the battery is not that easy to remove. So you go into settings and then you go into um, power and then down the bottom the fast boot there um, untick fast boot so when it boots up it's kind of like removing the battery and you'll see the boot it boots up a lot slower that way too Okay, so let's go and do step two. So I want to switch it off. <coughs> so we're going to turn it back on and hold. So what you want to do is hold the power and the volume down. Okay, so once you do that, this screen will come up, so I'll bring that up. Okay, so as you can see there, the model is a Vivo um, PVT ship with S on, which is security on, H boot is 2, and the radio, so I'll put that down. So you can see the there, and then it says use volume buttons to select up or down, highlight fast boot, and press the power button. So I'll zoom in. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll using the vol the volume keys. See how it moves up the recovery factory reset sim lock. We want the fast boot, and then you press the power button. Okay, and then press the power button at the top. Okay, so that's done that. And then it says step four is connect the device to the computer via USB cable. So what we'll do is I've got my um, USB cable. Plug that in. Okay. And then we'll go to step five. Okay, on your computer, create a new folder where we will be putting the following three files. Okay, so that's the link. That's the HTC Dev Tools. So I've got those three. So what I might actually do is so I'll delete that. So there's the file. Sorry, got. ADB, AB Win API, and Fastboot. Okay, so it's just telling you how to find those files, but we've already got them. Um, so we go to step six. So what we want to do here is go open command. Okay, so we've got the command prompt. Okay, so what we want to do here is go CD. Okay, then we go to step eight. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna, if I just go and copy that and paste. 
Okay, so it's come up with, it says, please cut the following message. So if we go down, it says step nine, it says you'll see a long block copy and paste this text into the token field below. All right, so do exactly as it says there. So if we, so copy that. And press Control C. Um, stop. So we're we following this exactly. Okay. So if we paste that in here, so it should look like that. Okay. And then you submit. That's it. So what happens now is that they will send us um, an unlock key as a file attachment, and then um, in an email. So we just got to wait for this email to come across. Okay, so um, once that's done, uh, you'll get an email like this and an attachment down here. So it says click here to continue. So we'll click there. Okay, so step 11 is, it says you've received an email with the attachment, unlock, save this file in the same folder. So you'll see here, I'm gonna go save as. the Android so we're going to save it in there okay so let's go see if it's there yeah. unlock code there we go so that's saved in there so step 12 okay so in the command prompt type of flash so the safest way to do it is to copy and paste just make sure you don't copy that last period there paste that And you can see over on um, the phone, there it's come up with an unlock bootloader. I'll zoom in and I'll move it up and then you can go yes or no. And it says that uh, press the volume button to select yes or no, press the power button. So I'm going to go yes and then power button and then hit this uh, power button okay so it's going to go off and reboot there you go it says there step 14 so to relock it after you've uh, we've done whatever we wanted to do, um, go back and do the same thing and type in that. So um, and then that's it. So there we have. That's um, we've unlocked our bootloader. So uh, next thing is to go and um, restore. Um, following these instructions, um, we'll uh, restore. Um, the clockwork mod recovery image and then um, we can go after that we can go and put in an, whatever ROM we want. Alright so while it's booting up um, we'll come back and uh, 